Yeah. Half hour's already gone by. And we still got a bunch of stuff to show. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I said check them all later. With the exception of that. Well, you told me to do I it. Know. Give I you know. some time. Here's some freshwater pearl bracelet. I mean necklace. Quit laughing at me. I can't help it. It has something to do with videotaping. And my obsession with bracelets. Who knows? Who knows? I don't see marks on the spring ring clasp. That's a real pretty little set of pearls, though. Put them in a bag and put them over there. This looks like a paparazzi bracelet. They have these. This one's very clean. It's got the love, the heart with the pearl, Paris, and the infinity. Very cute. These are very cute on, like that. Awesome. Pretty white. Great for uh, um, summer coming up. This matter, huh? Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where I can put bags. I can get rid of bag up some earrings for you. Huh? But I haven't shown any yet. You will. Oh, I see something I like. Show got, next. Got to get through the earrings first. <laughs> okay, earrings first. Have these pretty little filigree earrings. They look nice too. Wait a minute. And they're magnetic. Okay, Here's some leather looking studs. Huge. That's right okay. there. Here's some other boss earrings. They're hooks. That's interesting. I like that design. They would go on like that. They're pretty. Those aren't uh, marked up at all. Were they magnetic? No. Yeah, those are interesting. Here you go. Thank you. These are very pretty. Love the red and the brushed gold tone metal. Very nice on the back. Those are beautiful. They have some very pretty earrings in here. Those are gorgeous. Wow. Here's some little bangles. They're magnetic. Nice design. I go in this bangle, and you could do multicolor metal, mixed metal. There's another one, and here's one I will test. It looks like tortoise shell. Not testing for tortoise shell, just to see if it's bake light. I don't know if they did bake light though in tortoise shell. Here's a Lobster claw class, an extender with the bead. This is a brass color. This is very pretty. This reminds me of a Robert Rose. I don't know if it is. It's got real um, tiger eye chips. Aha, uh -huh. signed in the back. N -A, N A or N R? Wow. I really thought that might be a Robert Rose. N R. Not a Robert Rose. Or R N. <laughs> no, no, you can't no, read R -R. it. Okay, never mind. You can't read it that way. You, you know, it wouldn't read that way. Uh, I don't know how this works, but I'll let you figure it out. Very nice. It's not magnetic. Nice necklace, brass necklace. Yes, I'll figure this one out. Maybe. All right, 
figured it out. I thought you would. Let's see. Maybe. All right. What are we doing here? Okay, we have a main necklace. Okay, this is the main necklace. First of all, we got a little crown here. I don't know if that means it's Juicy Couture or not. I don't think it's put together well, so we're, I'm going to put it together new. You have this, and then you would take this off, and you would hook him here like they've got it hooked. I would hook it on this. Not the main chain. And so I need to do that on this other side. There we go. Wow, that looks wonky. Hmm. And there's this one. Let's try that again. Same thing. Hook it on there. And hook that. Get him out of the way. And get him out of the way. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Okay, on there. Now you have this, but that just still doesn't look right. This part does. But this doesn't. We'll figure it out later. Yeah. Put them all together. It's a pretty necklace. The metal on it's excellent. And these beads are, those are metal. These are acrylic. Pretty rose gold color to be figured out later. Yeah. This is a garnet. These are very cold. I know they're garnets. A heart toggle clasp. Is the third drawer to be figured out later, drawer? No. Or second drawer. Second drawer. Okay. That's pretty. And that's silver. Here's our pretty little owl. He looks like he's what, copper? You think, honey? Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, he's not magnetic. Pretty little copper owl. That goes on my tray. I know it does. <laughs> my tray. Where's my tray? Where's my tray? No doubt where that rascal was going. And we have an E. Pretty little pen with an E. It's marked right down here. Coro. That's uh, to go in the third drawer. Okay. We have a pair of paparazzi little um, tassel earrings. And these are nice to start and add to to make your own design. I would use them as a building piece for a earring with some dangles. Probably add some beads at the bottom of each dangle to make them not do this number and tangle up. Here we go. And then add some shorter charms up in here. It would be real cute. Add it. 
Here's a bracelet with seed beads. I mean, little pearls and rice beads. In the shape of rice beads, it's all stretchy. Some memory wire. Get this out of the way, it's bugging me. Very cute. Love the pink in that. Just put it on like that. Very cute. Great shape too. I think I want it tagged. So it doesn't get scratched up. Got our first. And it's not gonna fit in that. Mardi Gras beads. So when you get a chance, bag that, please. Okay. Straight to Here's the kids. Here's a tie pop. clip. No marks. No wear. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, look at that. Oh, I love that. You've got a lobster claw clasp with an extender. It's just so pretty. It doesn't look like it's got any writing on it. It's a pretty gold tone color. Very cute. Bag it. Bag it. Here's a cute little chain with hope on one side and love on the other. It's got a lobster claw clasp with a tag that's shaped like a diamond with PL. I don't know who PL is. Here's another one. You have a lobster claw clasp with extended with a bead, and the chain is a gunmetal in color with a cross. And the next one is like a charm statement necklace, which I like because it reminds me of New Orleans with all the fleur de lis and the cross and the rose. And the wing, angel wing, and a heart. That's another floor to leave there. It's turned around. Let's flip him over. There he goes. Ain't isn't that pretty? Pretty charms. Looks like all the rhinestones are there. This has got a little wear on it. But it doesn't take away from the necklace at all. Here's a pretty little heart, and this is um, rose quartz with little marcasites around it. There's the back. It's got something on the back here that says Avon. It's an Avon piece. This one's in such great shape, the chain and all. Pretty little necklace. And that says Avon too. Very pretty. I get baby. Okay. Ooh, these are um, banded quartz, I think. Beads and rose quartz and pearls, freshwater pearls. I'm not sure if these are sterling. And what it's wrapped with may not be sterling. Yeah, it's a little magnetic. So that would need to be tested. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I found a beautiful matching pair. There we go. That's very pretty. Banding on that.
that's beautiful. Oh, man. Oh. I'm missing something. Maybe. No, nope. Wait a minute. Wait. No, it's not. This head upside. Him. There we go. Okay. I'm happy again. <laughs> well, I'll be sad again because they're missing their little blue, blue things there. Yeah. But I'm sure we have little blue things to put at them with oh. all the beads we have. I was just happy to see a match of those guys. Okay. You can put that Rats. Up. I'll still match them. Yes. That's a stone. I don't know if it's uh, jade or something else. Very cold. Nice chain. Lobster claw class with an extender. I don't see any marks. It's got the prong setting around it. It's very pretty. Here's A class. Now I want to say that's class. But it kind of just feels cool and not cold, cold. But it still feels, it doesn't feel like plastic or, I don't know. It could be acrylic. But if it is, it's very good acrylic. It's very heavy. Beautiful colors. Okay, we'll put earrings on it. Whoa. Here's a little plastic bracelet that's wearing here. I'm gonna put that in the craft wall. So that may be right here. Here's another one for it. Oh. Here's a matching one. I just saw the price tag on the back of that from Belks. Oh my gosh. That's... This must be um might be turquoise. I don't know. Let's see what it says on the description. Sterling silver. Made in China. 70 bucks. Silver works. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that magnesite or turquoise or what? Here's the silver pieces. Definitely cold. Tag says nine two five ATI China. Very pretty. It's not magnetic. Okay. You want to put that in the top drawer? I can. Please. Here's another one of these things, but I don't know what they are. I'm going to put it in the craft lot. That's what they are. That's where they're going. That's missing a stone. Should be a green one. We'll put that in the craft wall. It's pretty. This one says K. Put an L I on that, we'd have Kaylee. Yeah. And that looks like says Fidel, USA, or Spiegel. That is Fidel, S-P-E-I-D-E-L. It's got a, another signature mark. It's got USA. Yes, Fidel made those kind of bracelets. Yeah, I know. Yeah. ID bracelets. Yeah. And watch bands and stuff yeah. like that. It's not magnetic. It's probably stainless steel. That's what I'm guessing, because I don't see any 925. So wrap that up and put it in drawer number four. Well, this is all 925. It says so. <laughs> oh, hot dog. 
And I like those. Where do you want me to put this thing at? Yeah. Fourth drawer. I have stainless steel pieces in there, along with stuff I wanted to save for the kids. And this mark back here. This is a box chain. And the chain is also marked sterling. Nine two five. And this where it's marked back here. Nine two five India. There's a cross to carry in your pocket. Here's a little ship that's got some enamel wear there. Red, white, and blue. Pretty little pendant. I mean, pen. Nautical. Grandma. Yeah, two little magnets. That's us. Two little magnets. We'll put them up here. You got another magnet. It's going craft a lot. Oh, that's cute. Cute little barrette. Mm-hmm. Here, piece. You can bag that one. Uh, okay. Out. Where do we put it? Just in the drawer? No. no, give it to me. Okay. I'll put it in the silver stash. Okay. This has got writing on it. Myrtle Beach, 2003. Looks like something you'd get on the motorcycle. Oh, here's a pretty little pansy. Here's the back side. Looks like there might have been something written there. But I can't make it out. It's got nice enameling. It's very pretty. I need this bagged. Okay. And this one's separate from it because they both of those can get damaged. Okay. Here's some more of those little bracelets. I'm gonna put them in the craft lot. an interesting little stretch bracelet. These are acrylic, acrylic little disc, wood, shell pieces, acrylic nuggets, more acrylic leopard print, more disc, kind of in a brassy finish, but yeah, I don't know if it's magnetic or not. The links are not magnetic, but the uh, ring, spring, the rings here are jumper rings. Boho, very boho. Here's some earrings. Gold tone, great shape, no backs. Kind of go good with this bracelet. That's the second one of that, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, have you found some? Or either it got didn't get put on. Yeah. Here's some false teeth if you need them. Yeah. <laughs> eee. That's a cute little charm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah curio. <laughs> Curiosity. Here's some earrings, pearl and black enamel. They're in pretty good shape. They match. And they match. Here's some yeah. pearls, pearls that are 
coming in strong. We'll put them in a bag and put them in the beadlock. Here's a shell bracelet. Pretty colors. It's going in boho. Boho yeah. the same as boho bracelet. Oh. oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. That looks like these need to be tested. Just gonna have to get brave about testing for bake light. Here's some gunmetal colored bangles. Here's a stretchy ring. Hmm. Wow. Look at those earrings. Yeah, I know. And this one looks like an alien from outer space. Or somebody with their hands on their hips. Some heart. I'm waiting for him to give me something to show here, something. That's somebody's ID bracelet with their social on, on it and then his address on the back. needed to wear it, honey. Oh, I know. I know. Okay. Here's some mixed metal bangles. I'm getting a good many of those. Yeah. They'll be cute together. Here's a little stretchy bracelet. It's got the opalite stones in there, marquee cut. Pretty design on the links here. In great shape, like brand new. Another one of those. Okay, I might need another bracelet. I need this in a bag. Backing too. for that, what was my set of earrings? Uh, oh, goody. Remember? Yeah, we're looking for backing so that I can. They're not backing, but hooks. Hooks to wire these. Yeah. That'll be okay. Yeah, that's pretty. Bracelets, okay. It's a little charm, a little heart. Very cute. Let's see if it's silver. I looked at this and it's not silver or anything, but it's a very cute little enamel charm. And we're going to do some untangling. Yep. Okay, I got some goodies to show. This is real stone here. Very pretty. It's got, looks like double B's. Anybody know that brand? That looks like banded quartz again. It looks like it's some brass. Yeah, it's not magnetic. And these are very cold, very pretty pieces. That's cute. Pretty colors. It's on this rope. I believe this is an artisan piece. You got the hooks. It's in good shape. Bag it. Mm -hmm. Here is a gunmetal color. Come on, untwirl. There we go. And metal color, lobster claw, triple chain, acrylic, and hematite beads. Very pretty colors. I don't know what that is. It's another cross that you can carry around in your pocket. I don't know what else you'd do with it.
Oh, this is pretty, and it's got a safety clasp. It's got these beautiful pearls, and these look like a cranberry red, like a Mozambique garnet. Clips like that. Good and secure. I'm looking now for a mark. And I'm not seeing anything. That's a beautiful bracelet. You need to bag it. Okay. Here's a pretty gold tone. Twisted, rope design looking, kind of a nautical look, bangle. That needs to be bagged separate too. I'm just telling you. Oh, this is cute. Little tiny butterfly. I've seen these with Monet. Is this a Monet? Yeah, this is a Monet. Little tiny butterfly pin, probably an inch by an inch. That needs to be bad. Here's a wire, and it goes in the third drawer. The butterfly. Okay. And that one too. That bracelet. Third drawer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is the third drawer getting full? No. Okay. Keep cool. On the wrong side of the bag. Pretty black and hematite, black sea beads. These are glass beads and they are wired with black enameled wiring. Very pretty. I need another. I'm starting another necklace. I mean, bracelet. The bag over here. I'll pull over here. Okay. There we go. Here's a pretty little pearl necklace. Love that color pearl. Look at there. The spray of little rhinestones on top. Pretty chain. Lobster claw clasp with an extender. Don't see any markings. It's definitely a pretty little necklace though. Either way it goes, because the pearl's pretty by itself. 